I was like, let's do a video about my tattoo experience. It was not my first tattoo. My first tattoo I got is on my wrist. It's a bass clip. I got it when I turned 16. I asked my mama if I could get a tattoo for my birthday. Yo, and my mama, she was like, okay. I was so surprised because my mama, she was, she was not that girl. She was not like that, y'all. And she really did come to the tattoo parlor with me and we both got a tattoo. She got my name on her wrist. When I was finna turn 22, I was like, you know what? I want a tattoo. And I had this little sketchbook and I had drew a little picture or whatever of how I wanted my tattoo. I think this is good. So I was looking for tattoo places, I think. I was like looking at people on Instagram. And, stuff. and then my friend was like, when you gonna get your tattoo? He was like, you need to stop playing. You should go to this place. That the place. I looked at all the artists and stuff and they had good stuff. I was like, okay. Lady I liked the most, her name was like Lady L. I really liked it how she like had detail in her art. I was like, yeah, yeah, I like this. I emailed the lady. We start emailing back and forth basically about the tattoo. She, you know, I was like, yeah, I want my first thought tattoo. Too. Like, we emailing back and forth and if y'all watch my story times y'all y'all know around my birthday before I turned 22 That's when I got jailed. then I went to jail and stuff like that So y'all in the middle of me emailing this lady about my tattoo and finna have all these fun extravagances. I'm thinking I'm finna go to the strip club finna go this finna go that finna do this all this happened in the middle of me Emailing this lady about the tattoo. So she probably thinking I'm playing and stuff like that. I'm like man So like after I get out of jail, I end up, you know back to emailing the lady and stuff i waited a little bit more time because i was a little broke yana and i was really serious about this tattoo because i feel like everything kept getting in the way of what i wanted like i'm like i want this tattoo i want to do this i want to do that so i'm gonna do it period because that's what i want to do so y'all we set up an appointment and yeah i show up or whatever y'all the lady she cool we love we go sit in the little room i'm telling her like yeah i'm sorry i stopped just emailing you for a few days like girl i had some stuff going on i was telling her my story like i went to jail girl i got jumped she like what what so while i'm while she doing my tattoo at first i was just you know telling her the story about she had music on too i think we, she put the music on like after i was done telling her the story because she was kind of like what so yeah she uh doing my tattoo it didn't really it did not even take too long y'all tattoos don't hurt too too bad to me but it was hurting y'all i ain't even gonna lie it was hurting like that that tattoo will hurt like at first it was hurting really bad i would say with tattoos the first 30 minutes it's gonna hurt really bad. I was really just letting it fly, but she did such a good job. After she was done, y'all, it looked it kind of funny, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all a picture how it looked when I was in her shop because I took a picture there. It's so funny. I think when she was doing like the dandelion part, she had to put more detail and use like a smaller tattoo thing. And then so that part was real swelled up. Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all the tattoo. Yeah, it's a dandelion. I just felt like it was so cute. And y'all, I love dandelions. Like the reason I got this tattoo. I think I explained a little bit uh, to her too why I got it. She like, why you get this tattoo? Basically, I got it because like I like dandelions because I feel like they grow in any environment. You can make wishes on them. Like they, I feel like them bitches are lucky. Like if you can make a wish on it, obviously it's lucky. I feel like in a way I'm a dandelion because like like you said, dandelions grow in any environment. Because I feel like it don't matter where I'm at. I'm going to be good. It don't matter where I'm at, what I'm doing, I'm going to be good. And I feel like people can sense that about me and they sense my energy with that. Like they try to ruin me. <laughs> Not like I just feel like people are out to get me, but honestly, I feel like I am that person. Everybody know Taylor going to be good because it don't matter where I'm at. I'm going to be good. I'm going to grow. I'm going to do better. I'm going to achieve my goals. I'm going to do all of that. And I feel like in life, you can occur different people that can be snakes, different people that can like just show you how evil they are right in front of your face and you won't even realize it like i just feel like people try to suck the life out of you it can be snakes around you it can be thorns in your side people that try to grab onto you and just put all their pressure onto you and you don't need that you don't need that in your life at all and even when them things cling on to me i'm just gonna grow out of them it ain't nothing i can do but grow out of them. like life is life and that's why i got this tattoo because i feel like i feel like it do symbolize a time in my life too when it, it was a lot of snakes around me and it was like a lot of thorns in my side and i feel like it don't matter where i'm at in life or what i'm doing i'm finna grow out of it 
pull it up from the ground. Guess what? It's finna grow back. Don't play. I feel like it's a real cute little little thigh tattoo. You know, I feel like it's real. I feel like it's a real cute thigh tattoo, y'all. And I feel like that lady, she put real good detail into that tattoo. If y'all want to get a thigh tattoo, go get a thigh tattoo. Like honestly, I really wanted it, so I really did it. Like it be like that in life sometimes. Got me a little broke Yana, but guess what? I'm gonna make that money back, and I did. I honestly kind of do want another tattoo too, but like, anyways, y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know how many pictures I had to pop to make this video. It's hot.